Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tony Su Vega, your Feng Shui Guru and Paranormal Expert. Mysteries which truly happened. True to Life Stories, Story Number 37, English Version, Encanto Number 2. It happened in 1996. I was going to visit a friend in United Baranyake. I rode on a jeepney. I was at the first near the jeepney's entrance. I was praying for a safe travel. I was forcibly holding onto the grill handle. The jeepney driver was driving crazily and fast, above 100 kilometers per hour. I closed my eyes and I didn't want to see the road and even how the jeepney was being driven or driven. Deep inside me, I wanted to shout, Stop the jeepney! but no voice came out from my mouth. Then, suddenly, a big, dark, black image of a hairy giant appeared before me, telling me to jump off the chimney. But I told him, that's suicide. You would know how powerful you are. You just go into the air like a balloon, being swayed and blown anywhere. It's murder. I would kill myself. You will enjoy your power. You would float in the air. That's a sin. So we were arguing, but Bilmer was consistent. He followed me through and kept shouting, Jump! 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 I shouted back in my mind, That's murder. No, I wouldn't do it. I still want to leave. I don't want to leave my family. If I do, if I do that, I would be dead. But you got powers. You wouldn't die. You could defile death. No! Then I closed my eyes and gripped the stainless pole strongly as if someone is forcing himself to me so I would jump. It was a close fight between committing suicide and not jumping off the jeepney until I realize I'm about to get off the jeepney because I finally arrived at the place of my friend Gia Cotton. As if I showered and poured cold water all over my body, my body turned cold. I spent about three to four hours in their house. I bid goodbye to Kia. I was to get back home. And Bimler, the hairy giant with two blaring red eyes was there, waiting for me to get on a jeepney. What is this? Who waited for me for hours? Oh my, I hated this. I prayed very hard and closed my eyes during my travel. I didn't allow myself to hear his conjurations to jump off until I arrived home. And I didn't go back to the place. I avoided Bimler. I would beg off the invitation of Gia to eat in her home. And that was years ago. Then, in one of my travels to Paranyake, 
I happened to pass the area again, and lo and behold, Bimler was still there, talking to me and smilingly asked me, How are you doing? I was shocked. He was friendly. He told me, That was a test that happened to me then. A test if I would commit suicide. I asked myself, Is this real?